Welcome to Kongo Roasters. I'm going to show you how to do a light cleaning on the CR600. We do this after every 30 roasts. The tools we're going to use for um, cleaning the roaster is the paintbrush that we've supplied with the roaster, um, a 5 or an M5 Allen key and an M3 Allen key. We use polyester cloths. Um, to clean the roaster with a bit of um, this white roll and then the two cleaning materials that we use is this Tigros glass and mirror cleaner and then the SC1 high glass um, coating for afterwards. So to start, we are going to remove the bits and pieces we don't need on the roaster um, for this cleaning process. The hopper and the cooling bowl we can wash separately. Then I'm also just going to take out the chat chamber, which we can also just by hand and soap wash to clean. And we are going to remove the ducting from the back. We undo this thumb bolt. This will give us access to the fans that we want to clean. I'm going to undo these two M3s just a little bit. And then the ducting should just slip off. To clean the ducting, um, we will show you um, with the vacuum and the spray how to clean that. Next, we're just going to unscrew this door weight uh, because we are going to turn the roaster on its side and we don't want the door falling open and closed. And we're also going to take out the trier and just keep that separately. Right. So, to start, we're just going to loosen up the little powder dust that's in this ducting area here. We don't want to um, spray anything or work with anything other than that in yet. This is just to loosen the end bits off. And then I'm just going to give it a quick vacuum. is clean enough for now. So next we are going to look at the important part of what we want to clean and that is the back of the fans here where the dust as you can see they have accumulated quite a bit and uh, what I'm going to do here is just loosen this all up with the paintbrush. Once again, I don't use any uh, sprays or anything on this area. We don't want moisture getting into the fans. We just want to kind of loosen up all this kind of powder dust from this side. And then once again, I'm just going to use the vacuum. <laughs> Alright, so from the outside, I've cleaned into where the chat chamber goes, and I've also just taken the powder dust off here. The next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to turn this, is I want to show you how to clean this flower valve area here. And what I find over time works the best is this Tigris glass and mirror cleaner, and a little bit of this cloth just to take the worst off initially. And this works really well 
on uh, the kind of coffee oil stains that you see in this area here. And I spray it over this whole area here. And you will see that the coffee oils come off. Try not to put pressure on the inside of that flower valve area. Just clean this on the outside like that first. And then this will soften up. Just gonna. see the coffee oils loosen up quite nicely not too much pressure on the valve itself just kind of paint it until you can see the oils coming off in the areas where it's a little bit thick just add a little bit more of this also you'll see when we open and close it you can get into the little corners It's not necessary to remove all of it, it just kind of takes it back to um, a much cleaner state. Now once again, this is after about 30-40 rows on my machine that um, we've accumulated and clean with the grain so we don't create any scratches right Put a little bit more on there Like I say, don't don't put pressure on that bottom part of the valve. We don't want to um, bend it or get it out of shape. Okay, so for now we're going to leave that as it is. I'm also going to put just a little bit of this spray here on the door lip where you can see um, the oils and how it's accumulated there. And you can see how easily this wipes off uh, with this spray that we're using here. Right, next we're going to use this. Um, it's a Maxima SC1 spray, and uh, I'm gonna just spray some of that on the roaster. And I'm gonna use this polyester cloth, and I'm just gonna give it a this also leaves a coating like a very fine silicone coating on the roaster which means in the future it's easier to clean going to do the inside of the roaster and well what we do with the roaster here is we put it on its left hand side 
just hold it and gently slide it so it's lying on its back, on its side. Then well, unscrew the legs. Now with the roses that have got metal legs, you'd have to use your Allen key just to take the M6 out. With the new wooden legs, they just unscrew. Right. Then the M3, I'm going to take these two bolts out. Place them on the side. The same here. There are slight differences. We've reduced these to just two on the modern roasters now, but the older roasters had six of them in there. Um, but we only use the top two now. I'll slide this blade out and you can see all the dust and dirt that's accumulated in there. So first things first, I, I'm just going to do a quick vacuum to get the worst out of here. Next, I'm going to use the paintbrush and just loosen up some of the, the powder dust that's stuck on the fans. And you can still see there, plus at the back here. Just give it a little bit of a brushing. You can see how it's coming off. And yeah. vacuum up those loose bits again. <laughs> a little bit of this cloth and I'm just gonna put another bit on the back here and just wipe this up I don't know. You don't have to remove everything it's just to get the most most of it off. sides with, with the controls and electronics in to try not to get any of the moisture or the sprays in there but that's the basic clean for the inside area there and uh, I'm just going to put the plate back in just clip it in to these two brackets at the bottom there M3 
Let's read these back in. Put our two leaves back. So, just turn the roaster back up by just flipping it straight back onto its feet. And then I'm just gonna put this front, so you can see some of the dirt gone onto it. Give that a bit of a wipe down. And then just a quick spray with the SC1 over the whole front of the roaster and you can literally do the entire roaster with this spray. And we use this polyester cloth again and we just go over everything. This stuff will evaporate leaving only a thin little layer of silicone. Right, that's a light clean on the roaster. After you've cleaned your hopper, you can just put your parts back again. We will put back our cooling bowl and just do the last two. Screw back in your doorway until it's tight. That's it. We can clean the um, trier the same way, just a little bit of the the spray and just give it a wipe down to get the worst of the, the stuff off it. We place our fire and then our chaff chamber goes back on. Put the ducting back in, clip it in on the two pins there, make sure it's pushed in to so apply a little bit of force in that direction. Put your thumb bolt in, tighten up on the thumb bolt, and then just tighten these two little M3s just so you can see it actually clamps it on not very tight, just finger that and that's a light clean on your roaster um, yeah, please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, we'll be putting some more videos on about different parts of it thank you